bit of volleyball players are out here. I'm just coming past McDonald's. And uh, this beach is much busier. Oh, I need to go across the road to the Tropico. This is, I don't know, there seems to be a lot of interest in the Tropico. Um, obviously people come to stay there. It's all closed up at the moment, but they have been doing work. And uh, I noticed on some of the Facebook pages, uh, particularly the Palmer Nova one, people have been posting photographs to show uh, what work has been done. So this is the Tropico. It's all closed, curtain at the moment. This is the area where they have been doing some work. I can't really remember what it was like before. But most of that now seems to be done. And this looks like it's going to be a terrace where people can sit out overlooking the sea. The temperature gauge up here says it's 15 degrees Celsius and it's 11 o'clock in the morning, April the 18th, 2021. That's quite a pleasant temperature to walk. See the shops open. And we are beginning to gear up for the new season. Here in Spain, we have a state of alarm which is imposed by central government and this was imposed last year and that is due to end on May the 9th. So on May the 9th, unless something else is put in place, which very likely is going to be put in place, but um, at the moment all the restrictions, everything stops on May the 9th and we're back to normal. Now, the Balearic government obviously don't want that to happen and so they have said that if the central government doesn't bring a new state of alarm into place then they will enforce their own restrictions and they can do that but, the, but they have to go to the High Court so what they will do is they'll go to the High Court and say for example, one of the things that they don't want to change is the curfew. We have a curfew that stops uh, people going out between the hours of 10 o'clock at night and 6 o'clock in the morning, unless you've got a good reason. These things where you can put your feet in the water and let them nibble. Not for me, I'm afraid. Um, so yes, we have a curfew. And the uh, president of Mallorca doesn't want that curfew to end at all, or at least not for the foreseeable future. Uh, so she is prepared to bring in a law just for Mallorca, or the Baleares, which says we have a curfew. I don't know whether she'll keep the same times between 10 and 6. And then if there are other restrictions that are required, then uh, the, the local governments will impose them. But the national government is quite happy for the state of alarm to end on May the 9th and uh, to allow things to gradually get back to normal. And we can, I think we can understand that different regions of Spain are experiencing differing severities of the pandemic. Here in Mallorca we had a really strange spike um, at the end of last week when cases uh, appeared to double and I think that may have been a glitch in uh, recording the numbers uh, but the numbers went back to normal yesterday so we still have very low numbers 
one of the numbers that they, uh, they talk about, the statistics. It's called the cumulative average, which takes a 14 day period and looks to see what number of cases they have in that period on average per 100,000. And if we're less than 50, we're said to be in low risk. Uh, anything over 50 is a slightly higher risk. And uh, we're just coming to Banana Joe's, Tobacco's, some people have mentioned. I'm just going around here because uh, some people have asked me to have a look at the Don Bigote. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, roadworks here. Getting back to the statistics, we've gone over that 50, so we're no longer a low risk area. We're sort of a slightly higher risk area, but still very low. So this work has been going on here for weeks, if not months now, and uh, everything is chained off. But I'm going to try and get a little bit further up here. See, it's all fenced. Actually, they've made a lot of progress since uh, since we were last here, but it does look a mess. So I don't like to show Mallorca in this light, uh, and certainly not Parmanova in this light. But this is reality, this is what happens in the winter time. In the winter time, I think I'm going to do something I'm not supposed to do. I'm going to walk up the middle of the road. This road, I'm not sure where it is cut off or not, it seems to be open at that end, so I guess it's open at the other end as well. But in the winter time, this is when they do all the big jobs, and uh, digging up the road's a big job. So. All I'm doing here is walking up just so that people who come to the Don Bigote, which is here on my left, can see the hotel still here and all ready for the clients. And this, this will now all be finished off and ready for you when you return. That's going to look really quite smart, I'm sure. So we'll just switch the cameras off for a second now and we'll get back to where we were on the promenade.